And that last headline is a story that's breaking here on We On World is One. An army vehicle was targeted by an improvised explosive device or IED today in Jammu and Kashmir's Pulwama. The armored vehicle of the 44 Rashtriya Rifles was attacked near the Arihal village of Pulwama. There are no reports of any casualties. An encounter is underway. The Casper vehicle did get damaged in the attack. Another army vehicle has been targeted in Kashmir, this in southern Kashmir's Pulwama district. The armored vehicle belongs to 44 Rashtriya rifles of the Indian Army. And the encounter is still underway as we speak and we will continue to keep you posted with the latest on this front. Meanwhile, an army officer was martyred while another officer was injured in an encounter with terrorists in South Kashmir's Anantnag. The encounter took place uh, where security forces had launched a cordon search operation in the area this morning. The search operation led to a gunfight after the militants fired on the forces who then retaliated. According to sources, one terrorist was also reportedly killed in that encounter. Our correspondent Ishan Wani joins us live on we on your story with the latest uh, front. Ishan, talk to us. One armored vehicle under attack in Pulwama while one uh, Indian Army officer has been martyred in the gunfire in Anantnag. Well, absolutely right. Let me give you the latest. We are told by our sources on the ground that at least seven uh, army tavans have been injured in that particular IED explosion that happened in Pulwama sometime from now. The you know, top officials are reaching the spot to assess the situation to what led to this blast, whether it was planted sometime back or the whether, whether the militants were present in the area. What we know so far is that seven army tavans have been injured. Reportedly, three of them have been airlifted to Srinagar's 92 base hospital in critical condition. Uh, now, this uh, IED was planted in the area given the fact that the army vehicles passed through the area. What we know also is that the top officials are present at the scene and they are assessing the situation. Now, this is a big IED explosion we have seen in Kashmir Valley from some time after Pulwama that IEDs are becoming frequent. Uh, we also saw one IED explosion taking place uh, so, some days back and also after that some of them were diffused even in Poonch and Rajori districts out of uh, Kashmir Valley. Uh, so the police will have to focus on this part that whether how much uh, you know they have to develop the intelligence to keep the IED factor out of the uh, the Kashmir Valley, uh, because IED hasn't been used for a long time in the Kashmir Valley. It was stopped after uh, the uh, life was coming to normal in the Kashmir Valley. But once again, uh, we are seeing that IEDs are being used frequently. Today, again, seven army javans are said to be, according to our sources, have suffered right. injuries in this particular blast. Now, coming to the encounter, uh, the encounter has ended with the killing of one militant uh, who was hiding since the morning. There was a retaliation of fire. We are told that one army officer went close to the encounter site uh, who received uh, critical bullet wounds on his head and post which he was shifted to the hospital where he's come to his injuries. Apart from him, we are told that three army javans, including a major rank officer, has suffered injuries in this attack. Now, remember, this encounter has concluded. One dead body and arms and ammunition have been recovered from the spot. Uh, but now the entire focus will shift on an IED explosion, given the fact that last time we saw that how the Pakistan had shared the intel input with the India and also the US about a possible IED. But that was an intel about a possible vehicle being used as part of an IED explosion to avenge the killing of Zakir Musa, but now the details will start emerging in that how did this IED explosion take place, but we'll have to wait and watch for some more time. Our correspondent Ishan Wani joining us with the latest on the twin encounters that have taken place in South Kashmir today. Thank you, Ishan, for joining us with that latest update here on We On World Is One.